the major finding of the SOFI report is that hunger is going up. Uh, after a long period of decline, both the number of hungry people and the percentage have been going up from 2015 to 2016, from 777 million in 2015 to 815 million in 2016, and from 10.6% um, rate to 11%. The report has identified three uh, key causes for hunger going up. First of all, the expansion um, and magnitude and intensity of conflicts, which has been increasing for a while. Uh, conflicts take a heavy toll on human lives, on the livelihoods of people, on economic infrastructure, and on the means that people have to produce um, uh, agriculture. Uh, it's very heavy on the rural areas, and so a lot of people have been suffering from the effects of conflict. Uh, we know today that about 489 million people out of 815 million that are undernourished lived in countries affected by conflict. The second reason that we have identified is extreme climatic events like droughts and floods, which are related um, one way or the other to climate change. The examples of El Nino and El Nina uh, and the related uh, weather events are just one of the examples of these climatic stresses. Now, what do they do? They first uh, compromise agricultural production. So food availability is going down. Food availability going down sometimes increases prices in local markets, and so it compromises people's access to food uh, through higher prices. The third reason we have identified is even in countries in which there is no conflict or dramatic climatic events, there has been an economic slowdown. Uh, in some countries in Latin America, for instance, the economic slowdown is due to the fact that commodity prices have gone down. Some of those countries are exporters of agricultural and non-agricultural commodities. And so their export training earnings have been going down. Their economies suffer from this. But also the government revenues suffer from the decline in economic activity and export earnings. That means that uh, the countries have less um, means to import food and also less ability to support the safety nets and the social protection nets which countries use to um, protect their populations from hunger and undernourishment. We believe that the SDG2 can be actually achieved. Uh, it will be a big challenge though. It's not going to come automatically. We need to take a more purposeful action to meet the SDG2. For instance, for the root causes of hunger that we look at this report, um, in places where conflict uh, takes place, we should increase the resilience of people to conflict. We have to strengthen their sources of livelihood. We have to do programming which is more long-term than just humanitarian type of assistance. Uh, this will improve the livelihoods of people, but it will also contribute to sustainable peace. The, in cases of uh, economic slowdowns, we should follow the twin track approach that FAO has always been advocating. That is, we should strengthen those productive sectors where the poor people, the hungry people, derive their livelihoods. And at the same time, strengthen social protection that will take the poorest of the poor and allow them to not fall into situations of hunger and malnutrition. So political will is key. However, this political will has to be turned into purposeful action.